Quick question, who would you choose as the most notable personality in the entire history of Russia? It's a difficult one, but I'll tell you who the Russians chose some 10 years ago in a public poll. Alexander Nevsky received the most votes. Don't know who he was? You're at the right place. Alexander Yaroslavich was the fourth son of the Grand Prince of Vladimir, which was the highest title among the 13th century Rus tribes. Nobody expected Alexander to get his turn on the throne bike, yet Novgorod chose him to be its ruling prince, Novgorod being one of the most important Russian states at the time. Four years into being prince and chill and Sweden gave Alexander the look. They didn't like the fact that the Russians started encroaching on the Finnish tribes. They also didn't want Russia to have access to the Baltic Sea, so they decided to invade. The 19-year-old Alexander gathered an army and defeated the invading Swedish at the river Neva, which is why people started calling him Nevsky. After the victory, Alexander was all like, what up, I'm that Nevsky dude, and started making himself way too important in everyday politics, which didn't really go down too well with the Novgorodian aristocracy. Now just because Novgorod was a 13th century Rus tribe state and had a prince for a ruler, that didn't mean that they were not a republic. Although logically it should, but it just didn't. So they fired that Nevsky dude and forced him into exile. Wait just a second Tuki, how am I supposed to believe any of this? I mean 13th century Europe and no pope to do something stupid? Well hello Mr. Pope! The Mongolian Golden Horde was expanding its territories at the expense of Russia, so the Pope decided that the Germanic Teutonic Knights should put a stop to that. Also while they were at it, why not Christianize the Russians, who were already kind of Christians, just that other kind that didn't bow to the Vatican. When Novgorod found out that the Germans were coming, they decided to call back that Nevsky dude to help fight them off. Nevsky met the enemy on the frozen Lake Pipus, he was the victor of the famous Battle on the Ice. However, Nevsky understood that this same approach wouldn't work with the Mongols, so he cut a deal to pay them taxes and not get attacked in return. You see, Nevsky knew that the landless crusaders would take over Russia and destroy its culture and religion as they've done before. On the other hand, the Mongols simply did not care about the religion and culture of others. The only interest of the Golden Horde was hoarding gold. Nevsky's actions allowed Russians to remain Russians and today he is regarded as a symbol of fight for Russian culture and defiance to the West. Nevsky became the Grand Prince of Vladimir and devoted himself to developing cities and laws. Some 300 years after his death, the Russian Orthodox Church canonized Alexander Nevsky as a saint. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click on the bell icon at the bottom of the screen in order to be notified when a new video comes out. See you soon!